We're here in Cork City and behind me is what would have been the Cork School of Art. This was the forerunner of the Crawford College of Art and Design and is today the Crawford Art Gallery. And we're visiting here today and we're going to meet Avril O'Brien, who will be our guide. Hi Avril. Hi Olivia. Very welcome. Nice to meet you today. Welcome to the Crawford Art Gallery. Thank you very much. And Avril, with us today, we have, we have four students. students. These were last year's Leaving Cert students. The students who never actually got to do the Leaving Cert, but had been studying art. We have Michaela, Aaron, Fia and Kira. You're very welcome. So Avril, would you like to tell us a little bit about this beautiful building and its history? Yes, so um, Olya, this is the 1884 extension and this was funded by William Horatio Crawford. Okay, and who was he at? So he was uh, a wealthy brewer um, from a, the Beamish and Crawford Brewery. This extension is a Victorian decorative um, Gothic revival building that's been added on to the original custom house. But to make it seamless, they added on the red brick. They recoated the whole building with the same red brick. It was a scientific building. Oh, yeah. Do we do we have any remnants of science? We sure do. Building? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So we have these beautiful wrought iron gates, and one gate says art and the other gate says science. This was originally the custom house and Cork was a really wealthy, wealthy city. It was the Venice of the South. We would have had all the ships coming up here. This is actually a river coming up here into Emmet Place and they would have unloaded their goods coming from the West Indies and all over the world. And the custom house then would have um, taken in the, the money. So above the building, you have two pineapples and these were very symbolic of the time of uh, trade with the West Indies, but they were a really expensive item. So they would have been shown as a kind of a symbol of wealth, but also a symbol of um, welcome. So if um, or, or welcome to the gallery, everybody. Um, and, uh, we've had a lovely uplifting blue put into the background here um, for its 200th anniversary as well. Have you been here before? Yeah. yeah. And did you do some drawing here or photography, yeah. yeah, yeah. anything like that? It was very popular to make casts from Greek and Roman antiquity and it was basically how we learn from the past. And so you would have had in the Renaissance, you would have had them learning from, from the classics. And there was a big revival of this. The only way we would have known that um, these existed in this part of the world was that they came from the Pope um, who commissioned Antonia Canova to cast all of these ancient statues and they were given as a gift to us here in Cork and this is how the art gallery started and it's really lovely having a, a student dive the art you know, they, through they the actually day. established the school of art exactly yeah they made, but when I was here as a student we came in here every Tuesday and Thursday drawing from the antique pencil rubber getting them right we would draw those for our intermediate exam and when the intermediate exam was done it was over done and dusted we never drew them again we moved on to life drawing then really what it was was a personification of different things about the human so it might be um, one god is all about being an athlete you know one god is about What kind of a feeling do you get when you come into a room like this? It was really light and airy. Bright and airy, yeah, definitely. And the colour, how do you feel about the colour? The colour is in contrast, like the blue and the white, it makes like the contrast really well. Contrast, and yeah, yeah, so you think it makes the statue stand out a little bit more, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What, what do you think, how does the lighting affect the sculptures? Yeah, 
in terms of the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the form. So like even the shadows here and the highlights and the really high sheens as well. Do the natural lighting and you also have the trap lighting, don't you? Yeah. Have I, any of you seen these before? Yeah, Aaron and I went to Italy, so we're these sculptures in So you saw them in Rome? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what, where exactly in Rome did you see them? They were in the Vatican City. In the Vatican? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And how about the Apollo Belvedere? Did you see this one as well? Contrapasto pose, so he's just standing on one leg. And why would you think that those sculptures are like that, kind of often with them, um, like a, a big tree or something, or uh, they're sort of half leaning on something? Just kind of rest all of your weight on like one of the legs. Okay. Just do whatever you want to do. Yes. <laughs> 